Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 5 Chemical Bond Part 4. In this chapter, you will learn 5.4 Hydrogen Bond. 5.4 Hydrogen Bond A hydrogen bond is formed when a hydrogen atom is covalently bonded to a highly electronegative atom, such as nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. The highly electronegative element in the molecule will pull the bonded pair of electrons closer to its nucleus. The highly electronegative atom now has a partial negative charge, while the hydrogen atom has a partial positive charge. Hydrogen bond is an interaction or attraction forces between dipole molecules. The formation of hydrogen bonds in a water molecule Formation of hydrogen bond between water molecule A. Oxygen atom with 8 protons in its nucleus has stronger nucleic attraction to pull electrons than a hydrogen atom with one proton in its nucleus. B. Oxygen atom is more electronegative than hydrogen atom. C. Electrons are pulled towards oxygen atom in water molecule. D. Oxygen atom has a partial negative charge while hydrogen atoms has a partial positive charge. E. Water molecule becomes a dipole molecule. The partial positive pole on hydrogen atom will attract the lone pair electrons on oxygen atom partial negative charge of a nearby water molecule. Hydrogen bond exists between the following molecules. 1. Hydrogen fluoride HF. Hydrogen atom shares one pair of electrons with a highly electronegative fluorine atom through covalent bonding. Electrons are pulled towards the fluorine atom and causes the hydrogen atom to become a partial positive charge while fluorine atom becomes a partial negative charge. Hydrogen fluoride becomes a dipole molecule. Hydrogen bond is formed between hydrogen atom, partial positive charge and fluorine atom, partial negative charge of a nearby hydrogen fluoride molecule. 2. Ammonia and H3 hydrogen atom is bonded to a highly electronegative nitrogen atom through covalent bonding. The hydrogen atom becomes a positive charge, but nitrogen becomes a partial negative charge. Ammonia and H3 becomes a molecule. Hydrogen bond formed between hydrogen atom, partial post charge, and nitrogen atom, partial negative charge, of a nearby ammonia molecule. Effect of hydrogen bonds in the physical properties of substances, most of the covalent compounds are insoluble in water, have low melting point, and boiling point. Covalent molecules such as ammonia, and H3, hydrogen fluoride, HF and ethanol, C2H5OH, have higher melting and boiling point, and more soluble in water, due to hydrogen bonding. High melting, and boiling point, in polar molecules, dipole molecules, the presence of hydrogen bonds between the dipole molecules increase the melting point and boiling point. More heat energy is needed to overcome the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is a stronger intermolecular force of attraction compared to van der Waals force of attraction between the molecules of a covalent compound. Hence, the melting point is higher than other simple covalent molecules. Nonpolar molecules, weaker van der Waals forces of attraction, exist between other covalent molecules. Van der Waals forces is a general term used to define the attraction of intermolecular forces between molecules. Only small amount of heat is needed to overcome the van der Waals forces of attraction between the molecules. Example. The graph shows that dipole molecules, such as water, H2O, hydrogen fluoride, HF, and ammonia, and H3 of higher boiling point, compared to non-polarized molecules, such as dihydrogen sulfide, H2S, hydrogen chloride, 
HCl and others. Solubility in water, the hydrogen atoms and ammonia, NH3, hydrogen fluoride, HF, hydrogen chloride, HCI and ethanol, C2H5OH molecules, are covalently bonded, to highly electronegative nitrogen, fluorine, chlorine, and oxygen atoms. These molecules, become dipole molecules, polarized. The hydrogen bonds, formed between the partially positively, and negatively charged atoms. Formation of hydrogen bonds, between these dipole molecules, NH3, HF, HCI, and C2H5OH, and water molecules, replace the hydrogen bonds, between the water molecules itself. Hence, dipole, polar, covalent molecules, dissolves well in water. Hydrogen bond between hydrogen fluoride, HF, and water, H2O. Hydrogen bond between ammonium molecule, and H3, and water, H2O. Nonpolar covalent molecules, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, tetrachloromethane, CCL4, and hexane, C6H14 are insoluble in water. Water molecules, are polar molecules, that form hydrogen bonds with one another. Polar molecules, dissolve in water, because they form hydrogen bonds, with water molecules. Nonpolar covalent molecules, cannot form hydrogen bonds, with water molecules. Nonpolar molecules, will stick together in water, because the water molecules, form hydrogen bonds with water. They are insoluble in water. Role of hydrogen bonds in daily life. 1. Moisten hair sticks together, and hard to comb. When hair is wet, protein molecules no longer form hydrogen bonds among themselves. Protein molecules will form hydrogen bonds, with water molecules, H2O. Water molecules, will also form hydrogen bonds, with other hair protein molecules. T is causes hair to stick together. Dry hair, is easy to comb, because the initial hydrogen bonds, among protein molecules are weaker, than the hydrogen bonds, between water and protein molecules. 2. Wet fingertips, can prevent the papers, from sticking together. Paper will stick to the wet fingertips, due to the presence of water molecules, Water molecules, form the hydrogen bonds, between cellulose fibers in paper, and water molecules on the fingertips. Dry paper is hard to flip, because only weak van der Waals forces, exist between the paper, and dry fingertips. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.